Amy Love here and I am here today to share with you this fabric tag I created for my friend Pam and uh, Pam is having a challenge to celebrate her first grandbaby so congratulations Pam I'm so excited for you Pam's channel is called Pam's Shabby Vintage Dreams and I will have a direct link to her challenge video below um, so I hope that you all can participate and, and help me in congratulating her on her first grandchild. I couldn't be more excited for you. So they are going to name the baby Tennessee, and they are going to call her Tenny. So I decided that I was going to try my hand at a little needlework, but obvious from the puckering, I am a beginner at best. <laughs> so I did try, though, Pam. I really did. Um, the challenge is for a 5 by 7 tag. But I, you know, I had to do a fabric tag, so hopefully she can fit this into the, the memory book that she's creating. I hope so, Pam. I hope you can get it in there. Um, so I created a fabric tag with um, this adorable fabric that I completely covered up <laughs> that I got from my friend Rosie at one of her sales. And then I did uh, this very basic stitch to stitch out Tenny's name, but because... I am learning as I go. I've got that puckering, so I am sorry about that, Pam, but I really did try. I used an adorable um, pink embroidery floss. Yeah, and so I sewed the base, and then I did everything else by hand just over the course of a week and a half, maybe. Every night after work, when I would sit down with my husband to relax, this is what I did. He'd read, and I would sew. <laughs> Actually, these I created when we were on our trip, the yo-yo flowers, because on a long road trip, I love to create the yo-yo flowers. So I, I got that's where I made those. But then I stitched on all of the layers and the pearls and the buttons and the appliques and the charms. And the bow all by hand stitching there's a little key popping out there and I had just a great time just there's little pearls everywhere all over this thing because I was just sewing on pearls like crazy and then I clipped on this little this pretty little um, shabby heart that Shelly made and gifted to me thank you so much Shelly it's so cute so I put one of them on here with a bulb pin and then um, yeah I just layered it up and I hand sewed it and I had such a good time creating it, Pam. I hope that you love it. Um, I'm hoping to get it out in the mail to you next week. You know, trying to figure out how to work and craft has been a challenge for me. <laughs> and like, I really wish I could just stay home today and craft, but that's, that's not what's happening. But I hope that you love this. I had such a great time making it. I mean, it's just cute. It's just cute. And again, congratulations, Pam. I'm so excited for you, my friend. Big hugs. So make sure you guys go over and check out Pam's challenge. She does have a really great um, prize package for the winner. And um, so I hope you all get in on it. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.